Hello everyone and welcome to Molkefish channel. In today's video, let's talk about Meteor Hammer. So, when I was younger, I was competing in the musical forms competition and once I decided to make a form with Meteor Hammer. So I was playing around with this for some time. I cannot call myself master, but I feel quite comfortable with this and I know some tricks. So I decided to test it in the sparring. Of course, not with this one, but with the sparring version I made. This is a ball in the back on the string. So it's still painful, but better than this. I decided to test this in the sparring and see how effective this weapon is in the duel. In my personal opinion, this is not a dual weapon, but I know that some people are going to argue with me about this, but yeah, I cannot do anything about it. <laughs> so in my opinion, this weapon is best as a sneak attack weapon. You just hide somewhere in the bushes and just hit somebody in the back of his head and then come close and finish the work with some backup weapon like knife or whatever. I think that this weapon is not good for the duel because this weapon do not forgive mistakes. If you miss or do something wrong, somebody just close the distance and fight is over. I know about this because when I make my own form on this competition, I tied myself in my own weapon and this is not something you want to do in the middle of the fight. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some clips from my sparring and after that we'll see what next. So as you could see in the sparring footage, this weapon actually was not that bad as I was expecting, but still it was not great. And as I said before, this weapon do not forgive mistakes. If you miss or do something wrong, you are done. Somebody close the distance and finish you off. And this was exactly how it was in my sparrings. So let's talk about Meteor Hammer. Normally the weight is around three kilos in the end and the length is around six meters. My version is shorter and lighter and I make this thing from the wood. It's not the best choice if you are a beginner or you just start learning how to use Meteor Hammer. But I was following the idea obviously that pain is the best teacher and this thing giving you a lot of pain. So yeah, but don't be stupid like me, use a tennis ball instead. So I used a piece of wood, this was actually leg from the couch and then I connect it to the chain and chain connect it to the rope. Normally you don't use the sweat fabric on the meteor hammers, they are more for the rope darts which are uh, younger brothers of meteor hammers. 
but I added because it looked nicer for the show and I like this sound. I'm not saying that this weapon is bad, it's cool, I really like it and to master this weapon you have to use some time but this is with all flexible weapons like this The last thing I want to say, this weapon is really cool because you can do like this and hide it it's really easy to transport, you can put your backpack, your pocket, go to the park and play around. But play around, don't attack people. Use this as a toy, not as a weapon. So, I have nothing more to say. Thank you for watching. See you next time.